obviously we have on our, our plate is that the, uh, our board has asked for uh, a, a, a full accounting from uh, from Baylor University relative to the the sexual assaults and and uh, their university's response to that uh, situation. I, I think it's fair to say that they're uh, they're deeply concerned about the um, uh, the associational uh, elements of this. Uh, there are there are certainly uh, our conference and and our board doesn't have any legal standing on uh, on some of the things that have taken place, but. Uh, or are alleged to have taken place, but um, uh, I let it suffice to say, uh, as it pertains to all of our institutions, we are, are very committed as a group of 10 schools to eradicating se sexual assault on our campuses. Uh, it is, uh, it, it almost goes without saying that when you combine uh, alcohol and drugs and, and uh, raging hormones and, and uh, the uh, uh, experiences of 18 to 22 year olds uh, it, it's probably uh, unrealistic to think that these kinds of things are never going to happen uh, but we certainly want to make sure that uh, from the center we do everything we can to ensure that they are uh, minimized if not eradicated and so uh, additionally from from a purely athletic standpoint uh, we also have to be satisfied that there haven't been Big 12 rules broken and that there haven't been NCAA a rules violated so um, that is the essence of, of our process and um, it's very early in the process right now um, we will be continuing to uh, work on it uh, Baylor has been very forthcoming and uh, I don't have any doubt that they'll continue to be forthcoming I, I've asked questions about uh, remaining members uh, I've asked questions about um, cultural aspects of the staff and uh, and the football team, and um, you know I, I have uh, empathy for uh, some of the young men on the on the uh, football team and and some of the people that are very close to the staff because um, it it would be easy to paint this with a with a complete broad brush and and have everybody presumed to be implicated and guilty uh, that that certainly is not the case. And um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't have any inside information that would allow me uh, to differentiate uh, among staff members or among team members, but I have asked that question. Um, and uh, and I, I've also asked the question uh, about uh, how do we ensure that uh, we're not going to have other incidents uh, because we've we've had some incidents in the past. There was a there was an academic uh, scandal in the late 90s, and and then there was the the uh, the basketball situation uh, in shortly after the uh, well 2004 or five. And uh, so, as a from a governance standpoint, uh, how do we ensure? Uh, that these kinds of things um, or other things that would be um, uh, inappropriate, how are we going to ensure that the governance is in place to make sure they don't happen again? We also adopted a serious misconduct policy and uh, the policy details uh, due diligence that needs to be undertaken on each campus. Uh, it pertains to incoming freshmen as well as transfers and I, and I think it's uh, uh, it, it requires that each institution make decisions about uh, young people that have uh, things in their past that uh, may be questionable. It, it requires each institution to uh, make sure that that due diligence goes beyond uh, the staff of the sport that's involved, goes beyond the athletics department, and goes all the way to the uh, highest levels of the university. Uh, and, uh, and I think in, in doing that, uh, we can count on universities to, uh, to make make the right choices.